Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of our Community Access. This week, we visit with two ladies to help folks healthy living. Then, watch out, because Terry will visit with the Bold Boxing Promoter, now helping a new program for Parkinson's patients. All today in our Community Access. Welcome back. Nurse Sharon Hoskett and Kathy Jones from the Fuel Your Life Cafe wants to folks healthy living. With the story is Sharon Hoskett. Hi, I'm Sharon Hoskett and I'm here today at Fuel Your Life with Kathy Jones, the owner. And we're here today to begin the conversation of what you want to do in the new year. I like the idea of three things. Think drink and move and those three things mean this if you consider yourself the same way as someone would take care of their car they want to think about how they want to fuel the car they want to think about what they're going to choose to put in the car for oil and they're going to move the car around any of those three things get missed and the car ends up in the mechanic shop so that if you put your body in that same frame of reference we need to think about how we want to fuel our bodies what we want to drink which is similar to the oil for our bodies water is very important and the last thing is to move so if we don't move around, if we give ourselves the proper fuel and we drink enough water, but if we don't move, we can't process the things that we are giving to our bodies. So today, as I said, I'm here at Fill Your Life, and I'm here with Kathy Jones, the, the owner, and she'd like to speak a little bit about fueling your life. And the whole concept of Fuel Your Life Cafe, basically, is to provide our community with a um, place where everything is homemade, all natural and organic whenever possible. Even our beverages, our teas, our coffees are organic and all natural. We do everything from scratch. We um, have classes where we teach people how to cook with real whole foods. And when they're too busy, they have a place to come uh, to the cafe to grab something that is going to fuel them as opposed to um, draining them with a lot of the you know preservatives and things that you find in most places that you go to for meals. So that's the whole concept. And being here within the Legacy Center, to be able to have a place to come, like you said, fuel mm -hmm. your body with good, whole, real foods. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many businesses throughout the Legacy Center that, yeah. you know, also pertain to movement yes. um, with the yoga studio, Joy um, Studios, as well as the Joyride um, Fitness Facility and the um, CrossFit and the gym that we have here. Yeah. So all of that, you can find all of those things that you're talking about right here at um, the Legacy Center. What I think is really important, um, playing off the word fuel, is usually we keep ourselves on a very tight schedule. And the idea that this woman can come here and grab something that's wholesome and ready to eat is really, really important. Um, so I'm really um, glad that that's available for the people. And as, a, as you already mentioned, do you have uh, good things for to drink? So obviously um, you would have water, but yeah. there's also the other things, the teas and, teas and smoothies and um, all of that kind of stuff all, you know, flows into that. And they're healthy options as opposed to, um, you know, preservative laden or sugar, sugar, you know, laden beverages and as well as foods and things like that too. So right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, have you tried any of the areas? I know you're a busy business owner, but have you tried any of the areas that you were mentioning, um, the yoga or any of the fitness areas within the Legacy Center? Yes. Um, there's so many different things going on in here for our children, too. It's just as important um, as an adult and a child to keep moving and doing things. And so here in the um, Legacy Center, there's so many different things that um, adults and children alike can come and stay active with the trampoline park, um, again, the yoga studio, and there's a 24-hour fitness facility mm -hmm. right here, too, that's um, part of the CrossFit facility, and the joyride is bike riding, so right now, during the weather, you know, when it's 
cold and you can't get out and you can't be riding your bike, um, they have that new facility that's in here too. So all of these things are something for everybody. You know, yeah. the, the yoga is for someone that, you know, has to be in there. There's the swimming pool as well. They have, you know, something for everyone that can't necessarily, you know, be doing CrossFit, lifting big tires and things, but, you know, swimming and doing something that's a little less strenuous but still moving, you yes. know, especially during these winter months when it's hard to get outside and yep. for our kids to do that too. So That's very important because with by saying that, you've also included a very important aspect of moving, and that is it's difficult for us to do it on our own sometimes, even if we have a center like this. But the idea is if you can bring in your family or friends and make it a group event, um, it's something that, oh, you're going to get out of bed if you know somebody else is going to be expecting you to show up. Absolutely. And the idea with your kids, I mean, it, when you establish that as their habit, we can imprint uh, for the rest of their lives how important it is to stay active if they are, see their mom and dad, um, you know, I don't know, getting on the trampoline or swimming or, you know, whatever. Um, I think that's so important. Absolutely. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention is um, we've been here, um, Feel Your Life Cafe has been in this building for a little over a year now. Um, it's been a year in September and we're um, in 2018, we're going to be adding more and more cooking classes. We started with a few for the first year, but we're adding more cooking classes so that a place where you can come and learn how to meal prep, um, make and take items that are healthy for you to prepare at home. You'll sample things here and then learn the techniques for how we prepare things. Um, we have fresh homemade soups every day, and so so many people come in here and they love our soups and stuff, and they don't realize how easy it is to prepare a, you know several different soups in one at one time and then prep for that during the week so um, we are going to be adding more and more of that kind of stuff to our website um, for people to sign up for those classes and everything too so again the adults can come here the kids can come here and learn how to cook and meal prep and um, pack their own lunches for school mm -hmm. and um, again we're all really busy and um, maybe we're hanging out here because our kids have karate or have different things and you can come in here and grab a healthy, decent lunch yeah. um, for the next day. So those yeah. are all things that we're, you know, adding on all the time, too. I so. love that idea. Mm. I think another cool thing when you're talking about meal preps and soups is, especially this time of year, I love the crock pot. I love being able to put something in the crock pot and know that when I get home, it's going to be ready. So right. I, that's a plug for something like that. If you had any ideas for meal prep, something that you could put in the crock pot for soup. Oops. Also, the thing that also occurred to me, I know there's no like little grocery within this area, I mean within this building, let's mm -hmm. say, but if uh, a local a grocery want to uh, uh, coordinate with you and say, hey, you know, here's frozen vegetables they can throw in, this, the prep in essence, some of it's already done, carrots chopped, you know, that type of thing, that might be something too that could be... Uh, Another new thing that we yeah. just launched, and this was our first month, we have the Michigan Farm to family oh, where yes. you can go online and you can order from all the local farmers with um, you know organic and all natural foods and, and mm -hmm. stuff you can um, get the link on our Facebook page you can order and monthly pickups are here at the um, cafe so you order those foods and then you pick up here and on the days of the pickup the monthly pickups um, customers will get a 10% discount if they want to come in and grab a soup or have a coffee or something like that just before their pickup or after so we're encouraging the community to support local farmers in the area and so the farm to family program too is another thing that we just started um, door to door organics um, is now no longer with us and so that's mm -hmm. another option oh. for the local yes. um, families to place to order and then come here to pick up so we made it convenient for Oxford to have a location that's to do that very nice very yeah. nice I really I like that that's exciting to think that you can uh, you're supporting so many uh, so many aspects um, of the community, uh, both the residents and those that are, you know, living and working in the, in the community uh, by supporting the, those that have farms. Yes, and, Michigan and farms. Michigan yeah. farms. I, I really like that. Yeah. So, and they, they, you know, where they're where, where they're grown. Yes. yes. You know the source. And yes. That's a big push uh, these days. The restaurants, uh, farm to table. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's a big uh, catchphrase. So. Yes. Yep. Yes. 
So I really want to thank you for um, providing this time for us to come and sit. And um, I am excited about all the opportunities that are available here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Good story. Next up, Terry went to the Legacy to visit with our friend Bull, who now is doing Bull's Boxing New Programs for Parkinson's patients. Terry? All right, let's get our gloves on. Let's grab our gloves, everybody. Grab our gloves. Beautiful. Single jab. Good. Double jab. Remember, you guys want that impact. That's what's helping you out with that impact. So hit, hit it hard with that first jab. Give it a little crack. That first jab, crack it a little bit. Keep punching. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And another 10 seconds of continuous punches, you guys. Hi, Bill. We are at Bull's Boxing Ring today. And we're not here to box, but we're going to find out about a new program that he's got going here. And, oh, I'm telling you, it made my heartstrings pull. So please tell us about this new program. It's so impressive. Uh, it's called uh, the Rocksteady Program. It's a uh, program designed for people uh, with PD, uh, Parkinson's disease. And uh, never in a million years would I thought boxing and Parkinson's would go together. But this is something that helps them out in a way that the only word I could use is it's miraculous of things that these people are doing from not being able to walk properly or sign their, even their names or even kind of move. And here, using boxing techniques and impact that boxing has, it kind of wakens up like dead nerves, neurons, uh, et cetera. Um, it's just an awesome program. And like, like, like I said, once again, um, I always thought boxing is what caused Parkinson's, but here it's helping Parkinson's. Shuffle to our left, shuffle to our left. Not too fast, nice and easy. Good. Shuffle to our right, shuffle to our right. Good. Take your time. Keep the hands up one more time. Shuffle to the left. Remember yesterday we were throwing punches too while we were shuffling. So when we go to our right, we use a right jab. Right jab. Shuffle to the left. It's all right. It's all right. It's like this running water never goes stale and the movements that we do in boxing just tend to help out like miraculously. It's just hard to explain but maybe you'll catch some of the footage that we have here. You'll see what we do and the way I train them, I train them just like a professional fighter. I don't really take it easy on them but I do but not really. I kind of push them to the point where this is how we do it. Put your hands up, left foot, left hand, etc. Um, it's an awesome program. I'm so blessed to be part of this program. Yeah, Pete. Good. Shoot that jab, Pete. Beautiful. Shoot that jab, Pete. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Give me a jab. Give me a jab, Pete. Give me a jab, Pete. Double jab, Pete. Beautiful. Double jab, Pete. Nice. I told him I was going through another program called uh, Big and Loud, mm -hmm. but it just didn't present enough challenge to me. So we started looking for the rock steady and found Bo. And uh, since then, my neurologist has down downgraded my condition from a level three to a level two. So that's just never been heard of before. And I said, uh, well, what, what caused that? What, what, what did they do? To this? He says, rock steady is the only thing I can see. Oh, yeah. See, I feel the improvement. My, ba my, my balance is better. But the stamina and, and, the, and the core strength has really improved on me. And so now you have um, goal-setting objectives and something to look forward to rather than just saying, okay, I'm deteriorating, right? That's right. That's right. That's what I was doing. Uh, in fact, I had a, a hospital bed in the that dining room and I was every place I want a wheelchair and I just couldn't st couldn't stand the thought of that. Mm -hmm. right. I love I love coming to the gym and being with Bo and Marie and 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 Julie 
they're just great people and they, and they know what we're going through and they're there for us so it's a it's a great experience for me and I and I love these people if somebody's thinking about doing this but they they're not really sure about the program what can you tell them that will make a difference I know you're weak and I know you're tired and I know you're fed up with all the advice but Give it, give Bo a chance, because he's gonna bring, he's gonna bring back that core strength that you need so desperately, and and uh, that's about it. Give us a try, because you really will be improved. You really will improve, and you'll be surprised at how fast it comes back. And you said a key word here. You said give us a try. It's a family here, isn't it? Oh yes, very much so, very much so. Yeah, you can see it. Even the, the the some of the guys aren't 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 up to par. They're they're brought right in to uh, the rest of us, and we try to help each other out. Pete, there, he's done great since since he, he's only been here a couple of years. I mean, a couple of months, and uh, you can just see the smile on his face when he when he can stand on his own and 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 do the do the. Uh, do the fight. I want to tell you, thank you for talking with us, because I hope this helps encourage somebody else. And congratulations for the work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm talking to Maria Aboud, and she's going to talk to us about the physical benefits and how Parkinson's patients are affected by what they're doing here today. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining us. Oh, hi. Thank you for having us. I understand that you can tell me a little bit about the, the neurological aspects and benefits of what these patients are doing today. Actually, yes. Um, there's been research since 2006 when this program started, and it began with a man who was about 40 years old in Indianapolis. He had a good friend who was a boxer. When he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, his friend who was a boxer said, no, we're going to the gym, and I'm gonna give you a really good workout. Anyway, he noticed his symptoms improved. So they started this program, and what they found doing actual scientific research and studies is that it is neuroprotective, which means that the high intensity of a boxing workout i.e. The, the hitting of bags, the movement, everything that they do actually can um, reverse some of the symptoms of Parkinson's or delay the symptoms. So it's been a very, very, very positive program all around. And it is, again, boxing-based but non-contact. Nobody, we get in the ring sometimes, but nobody hits anybody. Right. Uh, so how did you get involved in this? Uh, my grandfather had Parkinson's, so I, I grew up, you know, seeing him yeah. and how that affected um, you know, well, just everything. It really does. It just has so many different, and every, what they told us when we were certified in Indianapolis was if you've met one Parkinson's uh, person, you've met one. Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. Different symptoms. Um, but we went to Indianapolis to rock steady boxing to the headquarters, and we had uh, to be certified. It was like a two and a half day intense training. Um, it was a little bit, I don't want to say easy for us, but it was easier for us because we were already a boxing gym. So we already knew exactly what to do as far as the boxing workout goes. Um, and that's honestly what it is. It is basically a boxing workout. And the footwork, the hand-eye coordination, as you can see, like right now they're doing speed bags. It's timing, it's reflex, it's hand-eye coordination. A lot of the footwork that they do, that just really helps keep them more flexible, more balanced. Are you seeing a difference in the people that you have, and how yes. are you finding them? Um, actually... We were getting calls for the last two years from people. Do you have rock steady boxing? And uh, I'm not going to lie, Bull was scared. He didn't want to do it at first because it was very foreign to him. And um, I said, you know, we've been asked now by three different people, and my grandpa had it, and I'm not uncomfortable with the idea. Let's at least check it out. And when we went there, he, he didn't want to leave. I mean, I had to drag him out of Indianapolis. I really did. He did not want to leave. But... Um, we're noticing it every day. Every day they come in, every week you can see someone's either stepping better, they're more balanced, more energy, standing up straighter, stronger. And you know, I'm noticing they all have smiles on their faces. There's a camaraderie here, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And 
if one, like we do have a gentleman missing today, he's ill, he's sick today, and first thing they all ask, where's Paul? Mm. You know. So they're a family now. Absolutely. And so are they referred through some kind of medical program, or did, are they just finding you? How are we going to get the word out to other people that need this? Well, actually, you doing this is going to help us tremendously, but um, neurologists are very familiar with rack study boxing, and also... Um, there's a website, rackstudyboxing.org, so anytime it's covered on a show like this or something else, Google rackstudyboxing.org, and all you have to do is type in your zip code, and you'll find the nearest Rack Study affiliate. Oh, it's okay. Just be yourselves, man. Are you kidding? Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's all hands up, guard up. We're going to shuffle to our left. Shuffle to our left, not too fast, nice and easy, good. Shuffle to our right, shuffle to our right, good. Take your time, keep the hands up, one more time, shuffle to the left. Remember yesterday we were throwing punches too while we were shuffling. So I'm just once again very, very thankful and very blessed to be able to do this here at the Legacy Center, you know, thanks to Christian who allowed us to be in this awesome building. You have new digs here too, don't you? Yes, we do. In fact, a lot of stuff here is all new from the floor to the mirrors, uh, the bags, rings, a uh, whole, whole bunch of things actually. And uh, we plan on getting more stuff. And this Rock City program has been uh, just, uh, just a wonderful program. And we hope we can reach more people. Actually, I hope more people don't get it. But if they do, this is, this is what you want to do. You want to fight back. This is what these people are doing here. They're fighting back. And uh, it's either sit back and do nothing or fight back here. These are true fighters. We call them fighters, not just uh, patients. They're fighters. We're just here uh, showing them how to fight back. Well, you said earlier they're not fighting for the belt. They're fighting for their life. Oh and they're, I've, I've talked to a couple of the family members. Yes. There, there are people here, and you've only had the program a couple, three months, oh, right? Three months now, yeah, yeah. We went to Indianapolis, got certified about maybe four or five months ago, and it's been probably the best thing we've ever done. So there, these people, you have one here that was afraid to even get walk away from his walker or move away from his walker, yeah. and we now have video of him yeah. actually walking by himself. We call him Sneaky Pete. He was in the blue <laughs> corner, and he's actually uh, on his own walking and punching, and it's just, uh, you just have to see it to believe it, considering from the day one to, day, to now, it's just, like I said, it's miraculous to me. I feel like we're seeing miracles happen right in front of our very own eyes and using boxing which is i never would have ever ever guessed but uh, i'm glad that it's happening here you're not only giving them um physical goals but i can see that they're they have emotional goals oh, here yes. too that they seem to be reaching the number one ingredient here is love you know because that energy of love is just it does wonderful things you know and then you put it together with a bunch of people and all that love together I mean, it can move mountains, you know, so I kind of feel we're doing a little part, but uh, if we all kind of, you know, come together, you know, anything is possible. And like I always say, with God, all things are possible. I have to mention, uh, had to mention that, you know. Oh, so I so agree. It's such a pure, clean love that's going on here. How did you get involved in this, and what did it take to get you to this point? Well, we heard uh, from one of our girls that trains, she kept telling us about this program called Rock Steady and, and we're like what's Rock Steady and she kept telling us about it and then we started getting inquiries about it and then it, it just like a light bulb went off like Maria like we already have the facility I, I, this, I do what I love what I do and it's not even a job for me it's just uh, it, it kind of came together it's just one of them things where sometimes you get nudged by different people and uh, that's kind of how we came across this thing and, uh, and the rest is kind of history and we're planning on, you know, getting bigger classes, having more classes, and uh, truly our hearts are in it 100% to help them out. Well, that's really evident. Let's talk about your classes. How often are they? How do people get in touch with you to do that? Uh, is it an everyday thing? What it's, Are they committed for weeks at a time? It's, 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 um, it's three days a week. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's a, each class is an hour and a half long. 12 classes of an hour and a half long classes and uh, just the results that we see is reward enough. If I could, if I didn't have to pay any rent, I would not charge a penny for it. It's truly, like I told my wife, whatever we make from this program, as long as it keeps us here, that's all we're looking to do. And we've been blessed to have Christian Mills as our landlord who's allowed me to be in this spot because where I was before, it was an open area. I, don't, I think they want some of that privacy which we have now. And I feel I have the best spot in the house, once again, thanks to Christian, 
who's let this program happen. So, you know, we're always like, I'm like, man, may God bless this man because what he's doing in return, it's going to, you know, filter through us, you know. And uh, once again, you know, the rest is history. And uh, I look forward to the future of doing this Rock City program. Um, let's talk a little bit about the program. It, it, they, they're here for an hour and a half. Walk me through the stages. What do you do with well, them? The first thing we do, we have like about, we have a chairs that we set in circles. We kind of do a little meet and greet, and we have a question of the day. And then we have a little beach ball, which we start kind of hitting, which is a lot of fun when people get hit in the face. For some reason, they all kind of laugh. And it's just, it's, it, we laugh so much over here. And it, it, that's like medicine, too, the laughter. We start out with doing that. Then uh, Julie and my wife will do stretching, different stretching and diff like voice-activated stretches with, like, you know, like doing A, A, A through Z, the alphabet. You, me. And uh, we just do it the way we train like fighters too. Like you, you go from like the heavy bags to the reflex bags to the double M bags, and then you take your gloves off, hit the speed bags. After that, we all come in and we do what we call a bring it in, and we have a different chant every time. And you can make one up. In fact, Allie made uh, this one up today. This is what we do. Okay, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Single jab. Single jab. And it's just to kind of once again we put all our like energy, yeah. aka love together, and then it's kind of like a, oh, it just it's I don't know, it's like a family. Mm -hmm. It becomes a big family and a lot of love in this family, and it's just it's been it's been wonderful. It's minus two degrees to minus six degrees today, Almost and so everybody was here yeah, except yeah. for you had one that was ill. Yeah, I know that, yes, but yes. but I can tell. When they come in here, it's like this place puts their arms around them. They light right up, you know, but um, they're fighters. They're true fighters. I mean, you know, they're, they're fighting the weather, and they're fighting, this, yeah. they're fighting the disease. They're fighting back. That's what we say. Uh, they're, truly, uh, they're truly real fighters, you know, fighting back. Uh, you know, boxing is easy in comparison to what they do. And yes. uh, when they go home, daily. It's, it's daily, yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometimes i got to remember that this hour and a half with us, you know, maybe if it could help them out a little bit at home, it's, once again, it's pretty awesome. Well, talking to them, it does. So thank you for doing that. I'm going to thank you for the community for doing this and having this here. And we're going to do everything we can to get the word out that you can hit, that you get more people in here and help them out as well. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I can't even tell you how good it feels. And uh, once again, I feel extremely blessed. And there's times I might get, I might have uh, allergies right here. But so if you see a few tears, it's just a... Uh, Pure joy, you know. I've been yeah. holding them back for the last hour oh. and a half. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for joining us today. And we're going to see you again. Good story, Terry. Well, that's all the time for this week. We hope you enjoyed our program. We want to thank Nurse and Sharon Hoskett and Kathy Jones and for our friend Bull for our stories this week. So, for our reporter and editor, Terry Stiles, I'm Bill Service, and you have a great, great week. I used to think news is news. It's all the same, but it's not. 
There's a big difference between local broadcast news and cable news. See, local stations are part of my community, connecting me to local news, weather, and sports on every device. It makes sense. Get the news from the people I trust who actually live here. No agenda, no bias like on cable, shout shows, or social media. Just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local stations. Text TV to 52886 today.